Hello there. Um, so we're in Modo. How exciting! Woohoo! Uh, what I want to do in this video is remind myself in the future, because I'm a bit stupid and getting a bit old, um, how to get MDD files uh, out of 3D Studio Max and into Modo for rendering. So um, the idea here is I will probably be rigging and animating a character inside 3D Studio Max. I hate its renderer, so I want to get that animation out of 3D Studio Max and into Modo so I can render the animation in Modo because I prefer the materials and the renderer. It's much, much, much more simple to set up and looks better and renders faster, in my opinion. So, with that, how do we do it? So, uh, let's go to Studio Max, boing, here we go. So, this is the model that's inside Studio Max, this is a little character and we can like all be around him and blah 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 and what we've got here is nothing fancy so it's just a test file so I didn't rig him up I have not put biped in him I've just added some bends and tapers and uh, animated basically bending and tapering so yeah tapers there then he sort of bends forward and then uh, goes a little bit wobbly and comes back again and it's a hundred frames okay um, so what we do then is we add a point cache modifier and then with our point cache modifier recorded it will then um, save out a point cache file please note though in point cache one uh, this is max 2008 but if you've got the latest or nearly the latest if you've got max 2013 you do need a bigger service pack than what just ships with Max. You need at least, I think it's Service Pack 2, because they broke the point cache um, PC2 file maker, so it won't load into other programs. Um, but after that, they fixed it. So this has not got a Service Pack. Max 2008 is absolutely fine. But if you've got Max 2013, go and get latest Service Pack, which is, I think, it's Service Pack 6 at the moment, and apply that. Then when you make your PC2 files, it'll be cool and groovy. Speaking of PC2 files, so if I go and make new, um, you'll notice down here it doesn't default to PC2. So you need to drop it down, make sure it's on PC2, and then go make a PC2 file. The .xml file will be no use to you. Yeah, you'll need a .pc2 file. So make sure you record a PC2 file out. Anyway, blah blah blah. Once that's uh, done, you then go in here and all you're going to do then is hit record and then that when it records it it then writes out that file you can then turn off your animations such as physique or skin or in this case bend taper and bend modifiers and you still have your animation working right so that's all cool so, so far you've created a .pc2 file next you need to export your model so I'm going to export this character is currently uh, I have some scaling issues with Max when you move things out it all goes a bit weird and ends up being this is a 50 centimeter guy and it goes out and he is basically not 50 centimeters he's sort of 20 meters tall so what I do is I will export him out as an OBJ file so file uh, export selected and OBJ okay and then I then jump into Lightwave for five minutes so bang we're in Lightwave and in Lightwave, all I'm going to do in here is rescale him to being 50 centimeters tall and sa save him then as an LWO file. Because that just makes my life simpler. Um, I'm going to come back on this and try and work out exactly how to do good scaling from Max to Modo. So there'll be another video to follow this. So I can s you should be able to skip this step in future once I work out uh, what we need to do to make it work. Um, Anyway, so all I've done is loaded it in here and saved him again as an LWO file, but being the correct height is 50 centimeters tall. You see in the bottom corner, 50 millimeters, and there's 10 of them, 50 centimeters. There you go. So we've got an LWO file. Right. Hot, uh, before we go any further, so we've now got a new object file, which is a lightwave object file. Um, and we've got a PC2 file. Well, PC2 file is no good for Modo. We need to convert it into an MDD file. Lots of um, letters being spewed from my face at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, double click this guy. So, you need to go here for this guy who is at kstorm.org. 
and he has got a PC2 to MDD converter. So you just download this, double click, you open your PC2 file and then you export it. The only thing I've switched on here is YZ swapping because Y is up in Z is Z is up in um, Studio Max and Y is up in most other programs. So I've just got that to do it. Uh, so import and then export. When it exports it's just going to save it to the same area. So now you have an MDD file. How exciting. And if you go and look in da -da 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 -da, if we go and look in Modo back to Modo again. If we go to model quad We'll see when we bring our little guy in. He is basically well, one. Well, we can't find him. He's just there, and he's facing down. So, don't worry about him facing down for the moment. We can just rotate the object when we're finished. And the other thing I want to do when you bring him in, he doesn't have. He's not. He's not subdivided. He is little polygons like so. Yeah. So he hasn't got the tab key working. He'll just come in like this. Right, if we hop over to the Animate tab here, you'll see, or oh, maybe you won't see, uh, um, Goose Shading, there we go, or Ghost Shading, whatever. Um, okay, so he's in. If I switch off my MDD influence, you'll see that he's flipped around. So, how do we get this MDD influence here? So, um, if we switch that off, if I right and click and then I go to add deformer and add an influence, I'm going to go and add an MDD influence. I'm not going to go and add it because last time it crashed when I said no, so I'm not going to go and let it crash again. So MDD influence will then come in. Right, so um, your MDD influence here will say, Where is the file, please? And you browse for it and we'll just go and load it. And it's a cat cache.mdd. That I've saved out um, into the export folder of 3D Studio Max. And you just go and load that in. The next thing you have to do is you need to scale it because it'll be probably the wrong scale. Um, and I found that 2.5 centimeters uh, equals the correct scale. Now I found that because um, there was an issue in Max I've just discovered. So there will be another video, but whatever. You'll need to scale it to make it correct. Or hopefully you won't need to scale it at all, and I've got it all sorted out. But for the moment, you will. Um, and then we just turn it on, ba bang! And how exciting we get animation. Okay, and the really cool thing is, um, it works. <laughs> That's the really cool. Is that the really cool thing? That's the really cool thing. Yeah. So if you go to render, um, it does. It works. Now at the moment. Um, you'll see that he's not subdivided but we can fix that just select him and press the tab key and he'll then subdivide so it's now nice and rounded now and that my little friend is about it that's I mean, that's it we're sort of done and uh, yeah how cool is that quite cool um, yeah So where's the where's the right hand one? That one, there we go. Let's do that. There. There we go. So uh just let that do its thing. It'll take a little bit longer than usual to sort this out because we are recording to the screen as well, which does impact it. But pretty nifty I'd say. Um There you go. Ha 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 ha. The other thing we can do when we're into M D D influence, you can tell it to because my animation is only 100 frames long, you can say at the end of it, you can uh, go and do repeat if you want to. So, there you go. And speed is at 1. Um, sometimes you might need to like, change that, but it just seems to work. So, I think that's about it. Not exactly the most, most interesting or best done um, tutorial, but it's sort of... Ooh, it's 5am. <laughs> so, uh, you'll have to forgive me. Um, or not, I don't know, that's up to you. Anyway, it works, which is great. And yes, I have noticed I've forgot to bring the nose in from the character. But there you go. Don't worry about it. Um, cool and groovy. That's it. On that one, ta-ta.
I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and then go to bed because it's 5 o'clock in the morning. That's mad. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and share, as people would say. Woo! See ya. Bye.